find the maximum and minimum values if any of the following functions whatever exists maximum or minimum we are finding for this functions so here fx is 9x squared plus 12x plus 2 so whenever you are given any such a quadratic function this is quadratic function then try to make it a perfect square polynomial so here x squared term e as it is x term e as it is to convert this into perfect square polynomial to make this perfect square polynomial last term last term should be middle term square upon 4 into first term 144x square upon 4 into 9x square 144x square upon 36x square so that is 4 so this will be the last term of perfect square polynomial So here, if a perfect square polynomial is given, then split up even the last term in such a way that its one part is the last term of perfect square polynomial, and other part is to adjust value because plus two is given. We have to put here minus two. So four minus two is two. So this is equal to three x plus two whole square minus. So this is f(x). Now see, for every x belonging to R, p(x) plus two whole square, this value is always greater than or equal to zero because it is square. Its minimum value is zero. Okay, we have minus two by three. This can be zero. So because of square, this is always non-negative. Then I subtract two from both sides. So three x plus two whole square minus two greater than or equal to minus two. Subtracting two from both sides. So this is what it is f. So f x is greater than or equal to minus two. So in the range of f, range of f is Close interval minus two to infinity. Minimum value of f x is minus two. So minimum is therefore minimum minimum value is minus two, and maximum value is not defined. Maximum value. Is not defined. Maximum it can be any number, no limitation. Similarly, here, say, observe this part. So by observing that part, we can start as for every x belonging to R, for every x belonging to R. X minus one whole square is always greater than or equal to zero. Now multiplying both sides by minus one, multiplying by minus one, this will be less than or equal to zero. Then adding ten, I am adding ten on both sides. Both sides ten is added. So this is that. f x is less than or equal to 10 this is value of x given a x is created so therefore range of f range of f is range of f is equal to all the values are less than or equal to 10 so minus infinity to 10 close So your maximum value is ten and minimum value is not defined. So minimum value of f is not defined and 
मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एर इज टेन मैक्सिमम इज टेन मिनिमम इज नॉट टेन
So y coordinate is increased by 1. So this graph will be shifted one unit in vertical direction. So graph will be something like this. This is graph of fx equal to x cube plus 1. It is fx equal to x cube plus 1. This was fx equal to x cube. So, you can see that domain is up. So, because this function is increasing here, function has neither a minimum defined nor maximum defined. It is rising up. It is going down on this side. So, no minimum no maximum. So function, this function has neither maximum nor minimum. Therefore, therefore, that means neither minimum nor maximum value is defined. So this can be seen in this diagram. Then it see. Fx is minus or minus x plus 1 plus 3. Okay. For every x, for every x belonging to R, take any x, every x belonging to R. Here also domain was R. So this was also for every x belonging to R. Or every x belonging to R. For every x belonging to R, modulus x plus 1 is always greater than or equal to 0. Modulus is always greater than or equal to 0. It implies minus modulus x plus 1 less than or equal to 0. Now adding 3. So minus modulus x plus 1 plus 3 less than or equal to 3. So this is fx. Therefore, fx is less than or equal to 3. So range of fx is open minus infinity to close 3. fx assumes values less than or equal to 3. So maximum is 3, minimum is not defined. Therefore, minimum value is not defined and maximum value is known. Now to find maximum value of this function, fx is modulus sine 4x plus 3. Say, this is sine 4x plus 3. The trigonometric function is given. So we use property of Plato. See, this is sine 4x, and we know that for every x belonging to R, sine 4x, this is like theta. Sine theta has maximum value 1, minimum value minus 1. Then adding 3 in this inequality, minus 1 plus 3 is 2 sine 4x plus 3 and 1 plus 3 is 4. So here are 3 is added, here are 3 is added, here are 3 is added. So now this is between 2 and 4. So its modulus, modulus is between 2 and 4. Any number lies between 2 to 4 has its modulus 
between say two and four. So they are affect series between two and four. So therefore, minimum value of affect is two. Minimum value of f is two, and maximum value. This function is four. Say here, f x is x plus one. X belongs to minus one to one. That is, x lies between minus one and one. Now, creating this expression, we have to add one. So, adding one. So zero less than x plus one less than two. So f x is between zero and two. Range of f x open interval zero to two. Now say so here this is open interval. Zero is not included in this interval. So by observation, it seems that minimum value of function it will be the number closest to zero on on its right side. But such number cannot be defined. Similarly, maximum of f it seems that maximum it is not two because two is not included. But we can imagine that its maximum will be the number closest to two on its left side. But such number is not defined. So here, maximum neither maximum nor minimum is defined. So here, neither minimum nor Maximum of F is defined. Find the local maxima and local minima, if any, of the following functions. Find also the local maximum and the local minimum values. So here fx is x cube minus 3x. First of all, we find uh, critical points for which we have to solve the equation f plus x equal to c. So first of all, we find f plus x. f plus x is 3x square minus now I keep this f plus x in factorized form. f plus x is 3 into x square minus 1. That is 3 into x minus 1 into x plus 1. Now for critical points, we take f plus x equal to 0. Solution of f plus x equal to 0 gives critical points. At which numbers f plus is equal to 0, that means at which number function is taking a u term that we are finding here. So f plus x equal to 0 double implies 3 into x minus 1 into x plus 1 equal to 0. That means x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1. So for x equal to 1, x equal to minus 1. These are critical points. Therefore, x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 are critical points. And at critical points, function may have local maximum value or local minimum value. Now, we check at 1 as well as at minus 1. Then what happens at 1? 
what happens at minus 1. There are two numbers at which function is taking u term. So, now which type of u term? First increasing, then decreasing, or first decreasing, then increasing. So, to check type of u term or type of points that at which point function has local maximum or local minimum. We use here second derivative test. So second derivative test is a more convenient in finding local minimum or local maximum. So for which we find second derivative of function. So f double dash x from this equation to f double dash x. f double dash x is 6x minus 0. So that is, this is f double dash x. Now, at x equal to 1, at x equal to 1, we put x equal to 1 in f double dash. F double dash of 1 equal to 6 into 1, that is 6. This is more than 0. At x equal to 1, sine of f double dash is positive. Therefore, at x equal to 1, function has local minimum value. Or x equal to 1 is the point of local minimum. Therefore, x equal to 1 is the point of local minimum. If f double dash of c is greater than 0, then x equal to c is the point of local minimum. Or we can say function has local minimum value at x equal to 1. And at x equal to 1, we find that local minimum value. And local minimum value is at x equal to 1 is f of 1. So we find the corresponding value of from y axis. So f of 1 will be local minimum value f of 1 is not much. So f of 1 is equal to 1 e minus 3 e to 1 that is minus 2. So this is local minimum value at x equal to 1. So this was discussion at x equal to 1. Now discussion at x equal to minus 1. At x equal to minus 1 Similar procedure. F double dash of minus 1 is F double dash of minus 1 is 6 into minus 1. 6 into minus 1. That is minus 6. Now see F double dash of minus 1 is negative. If F double dash of x is negative, then function has local maximum value at that number or at this number function has point of local maxima so we say therefore at x equal to minus 1 so x equal to minus 1 is the point of that is the point of local maxima and Local maximum value. Local maximum value at x equal to minus one is put that number in function. So f of minus one is minus one q minus three into minus one. That is minus 1 plus 3 that is 2. 
So this is local maximum value and this is local minimum value. This is the point of local minima and x equal to minus 1 is the point of local maximum. See what is geometrical uh, interpretation of uh, this discussion? Say so here f dash x equal to 0, this equation has two solutions 1 and minus 1. So that means on x axis, if suppose here minus 1 and here 1. So at x equal to 1 and minus 1, f dash x is 0. That means at these two numbers, at minus 1 and at 1, function is taking u term. There are two u terms at x equal to 1 and at x equal to minus 1. So, means u term, it can be like this at x equal to minus 1 u term and x equal to 1. At one there is another u term. So it proves that there are u term. Because here tangent has slope 0. So f dash of minus 1 is 0. And slope of this tangent is f dash of 1. It is equal to 0. Then now which type of u terms are here? That means at minus 1 function has local maximum value or local minimum value at 1 function has local maximum or local minimum to check this we use second derivative first we use second derivative f double dash of 1 is more than 0 so x equal to 1 is point of local minimum x equal to 1 is point of local minima that means at 1 before 1 function will be decreasing as x increases and after 1 it will be increasing at x equal to 1 function has local minima that means before 1 decreasing after 1 increasing and at x equal to minus 1 this is the point of local maxima. F double dash of minus 1 is negative. So at x equal to minus 1, function has local maximum value. So at minus 1, function has local maximum value or x equal to minus 1 is point of local maxima. That means at this point, function is First of all, it is increasing, then after minus 1, it will be increasing. So, this proves sin of f double dash proves that at that point, what will happen? First increasing, then decreasing, or first decreasing, then increasing. Then, at x equal to 1, local minimum value is minus 2. At x equal to 1, Local minimum value is minus 2. That means if suppose this is y axis, then at x equal to 1, f of 1 is minus 2. This is f of 1. It is minus 2. f of 1 is minus 2. And at x equal to minus 1, function has local maximum value and value is f of 1 minus 1. Minus 1, this point is y coordinate f of minus 1 and value is 2, this is 2. So 2 is local maximum, minus 2 is local minimum. So this is the meaning of this explanation. So in examination, only calculation is required. This graph is to understand the topic. This is only to understand. Now for this function, we want to find local maxima and local minima. And 
local maximum ending of values. See again, whenever we will be given any polynomial function, the easiest way to find local maximum or minimum value is use second derivative test. So in this test, first of all, we find critical points. Critical points means those values of x at which f less x is equal to 0 or f less x is not defined. So first of all f less x. f less x is p x square minus 12 x plus 9. That is now we find factors. So that value of x at f less x is 0. We get it factors 3 into x square minus 4x plus 3. So 3 into x minus 1 into x minus 3. Now look here. f less x is 0. This is true if and only if 3 into x minus 1, x minus 3 is 0. It is true if and only if x equal to 1 or x equal to 3. So these are two critical points. Therefore, x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 are critical points. So that means at x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 function may have local maximum or local minimum values. Now to check whether at this point, at both points, function has which type of value, we use a second derivative. So we take f double dash of x. f double dash of x from this equation it is 6x minus 12. Now at x equal to 1, first of all, discussion at x equal to 1. At x equal to 1, put 1 in f double dash. f double dash of 1 equal to 6 into 1 minus 12. So this is minus 6. So f double dash of 1 is less than 0. At x equal to 1, f double dash is negative. Therefore, x equal to 1 is a point of local maxima. So this is a point of local maxima. And local maximum value, local maximum value at x equal to 1 is put 1 in function is f of 1. f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 6 into 1 square plus 9 into 1 plus 15. So it is 1 minus 6 plus 9 plus 15. 1 minus 6 is minus 5, minus 5 plus 9 is 4, 4 plus 15 is 19. So this is local maximum value at x equal to 1. So discussion is over for x equal to 1. Now discussion for x equal to 3. At x equal to 3, at x equal to 3, now this number will be in f double dash. f double dash of 3, f double dash of 3 is put in here 3, 6 into 3, minus 12, that is 18 minus 12, that is plus 6. This is positive. If f double dash is positive, then function as local minimum value at 3 and x equal to 3 is a point of local minima. Therefore, x equal to 3 
is a point of local minima and local minimum value local minimum value at x equal to 3 is both 3 in function so f of 3 is 3 cube minus 6 into 3 square plus 9 into 3 plus 15 so 27 minus this will be 24 plus 27 plus 15 so this is 15 so 15 is local minimum value now we check local maxima and local minima for this function fx is sin x minus cos x x belongs to 0 to 2 by this is over interval in this procedure first of all we find f plus x f plus x is derivative of sin x is cos x minus derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus minus cos sin x after finding f plus x we check values for which f plus x is 0 the numbers at which f plus x is 0 are critical points that means double implies cos x plus sin x equal to 0 so we are discussing in 0 to 2 pi interval is 0 to 2 pi so, no, 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 so our discussion is in this interval open interval is 0 to 2 pi so here we are trying to find numbers in 0 to 2 pi maybe one number maybe two numbers or more numbers at which function has u term like this u term second u term so we are finding, we are trying to find such numbers at which function is taking u term. So at these numbers f s is equal to 0. So we are finding these critical numbers. So f s x is 0. So cos x plus sin x is 0. And these numbers must be in this interval 0 to so here f plus x equal to 0 solution of this equation must be in open interval 0 to 2 pi so cos x plus sin x equal to 0 that means sin x is equal to minus cos x that means tan x equal to minus 1 now we use concept of recommendation tan x is minus 1 x is in 0 to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi is so check first rotation 0 to 2 pi in this first rotation tan x equal to minus 1 tan x is negative in second quadrant as well as it is in fourth quadrant at this point tan x is minus 1 it is pi minus pi by 4 this value is pi minus pi by 4 and this value is 2 pi minus pi by 4 so this is 4 minus 1 3 pi by 4 so 10x is minus 1 so x is 3 pi by 4 or x equal to 4 into 2 8 8 minus 1 7 pi by 4 So we are given interval of 0 to 2 pi. So always take values from 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi. So first value was 3 pi by 4. It was from second order. Second value 7 pi by 4, it was from 4th quadrant. 
So at these two numbers, Nx has value minus 1. Because here interval 0 to 2 pi is given, so take from 0 to 2 pi, so both are positive. Here, if in this question, minus pi to pi is given, minus pi to pi, if minus pi to pi is given, then you have to find from this interval. If suppose in this question, minus pi to pi is given, then one value it will be obviously belonging to pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 4 minus pi 2 pi that is middle value 0 then minus pi toward this side and 0 to pi toward this side so it is minus pi 2 here 10 has value minus 1 so here x equal to already discussed see pi minus a by 4 and second value here but it should be from this interval so when taking negative side taking value from negative side this is minus pi by 4. So minus pi by 4 is somewhere here. So remember, these numbers depend on interval. Because 0 to 2 pi given, these are critical numbers. If here minus pi to pi given, then this will be critical numbers. So in trigonometry, uh, trigonometric functions you have to use concepts of trigonometry. Therefore, x equal to 3 pi by 4 and x equal to 7 pi by 4 are critical points. That means at these numbers function we may have local maximum or local minimum values. Now to check whether at each number function has local maximum or local minimum, we use a secondary derivative test. So to use second derivative test, we find f double dash x. f double dash x from this equation, f double dash x is derivative of cos x is minus sin x and derivative of sin x is cos x. This was f dash x, this is second derivative f double dash. First of all we check at 3 pi by 4. So at x equal to 3 pi by 4. At x equal to 3 pi by 4. Putting 3 pi by 4 in f double dash, f double dash of 3 pi by 4 equal to minus sin 3 pi by 4 plus cos 3 pi by 4. We get here 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. That is, it is equal to minus sin 3 pi by 4, that is 1 by root 2 plus this is minus 1 by root 2. So this is minus 2 by root 2, so it is minus root 2. And look, this is negative. F double dash is negative. Therefore, x equal to 3 pi by 4 is a point of local maxima. x equal to 3 pi by 4 is a point of local maxima. Or we can say that x equal to 3 pi by 4 function has local maximum value. And local maximum value local maximum value at this point is if this point in function f of 3 pi by 4 f of 3 pi by 4 put here 3 pi by 4 it is equal to sin 3 pi by 4 minus 
cos 3 pi by 4. So this is 1 by root 2 minus minus 1 by root 2. So it is 2 by root 2 that is root 2. So this is local maximum value. So discussion is over for 3 pi by 4. Now discussion for 7 pi by 4. So at 7 pi by 4, at x equal to 7 pi by 4, we okay, repeat this procedure. Put this value in f double dash. F double dash of 7 pi by 4. That is minus sine 7 pi by 4 plus cos 7 pi by 4. These values are in fourth quadrant. Sine 7 pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2. Cos 7 pi by 4 is plus 1 by root 2. So this is 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2, 2 by root 2, 2 by root 2 is root 2. This is more than 0. If f double dash is more than 0, then that point is point of local minima. Therefore, x equal to 7 pi by 4 is a point of local minima. It's a point of local minima. And local minimum value and local minimum value at this point is if this number in function put 7 pi by 4 in function so f of 7 pi by 4 is sin 7 pi by 4 minus cos 7 pi by 4 sin 7 pi by 4 is minus 1 by 2 cos 7 pi by 4 is plus 1 by 2 so this is minus 2 by 2 so minus 2 2 so this is Local minimum value at 7 by 4. To check local maxima, local minima for this function, we differentiate with respect to x, f dash of x is x into root 1 minus x. So we get x as this. Derivative of root 1 minus x is, supposing this as x. Derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x. But it is not x. So into derivative of 1 minus x is minus 1. So u as it is derivative of v plus v as it is derivative of x is 1. So it is equal to this will be that minus x upon 2 root 1 minus x plus root 1 minus x that is now LCM is 2 root 1 minus x so minus x plus multiplying this with this number so it will be 1 minus x so this is minus x plus 2 minus 2x upon 2 root 1 minus x. So this is 2 minus 3x upon 2 into root 1 minus x. This is f plus of x. Now for critical points, we solve f plus x equal to 0. So let f plus x be 0. f plus x 0, that is this ratio is 0. 2 minus 3x upon 2 root 1 minus x equal to 0 and it is true when numerator is 0 that is x equal to 2 by 3 so this is a critical number and remember this is acceptable if it belongs to given interval here function is defined on open interval 0 to 1. So, solution of this equation 
it is acceptable if x belongs to open interval of 0 to 1 and it is in 0 to 1. So acceptable. Whatever you get here number, if it doesn't belong to even over interval, then that cannot be said critical point on given domain. But here on the given domain there exists C. This is our C. There exists C in given domain such that f s of C is 0. So therefore x equal to 2 by 3 is a critical point. So here 2 by 3 is only one critical point. That means there will be only one neutral. Either this type of neutral or this type of neutral. So that means function may have either local maximum value or local minimum value at 2 by 3. So to check whether local minimum or local maximum, we use second derivative test. We are having the two tests, first derivative test and second derivative test. In second derivative test, we differentiate f dash x once again. We find f double dash x. See f double dash x. Now f double dash x. F double dash x is mu by v. So here v square. V square. V as it is. V as it is. Derivative of u. Derivative of u that is d by dx of 2 minus 3x minus 2 minus 3x as it is. Derivative of 2 into root 1 minus x. Then simplifying this. 2 into root 1 minus x into derivative of 2 minus 3x is minus 3 minus 2 minus 3x into now we have a derivative of this number 2 as it is derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x but because it is not x into its derivative minus 1 upon 2 into root 1 minus x whole square that is we can say 4 into 1 minus x here this 2 2 this will be cancelled so this is minus 3 into 2 minus 6 into root 1 minus x minus into minus cos 1 into 2 minus 3x upon root 1 minus x upon 4 into 1 minus x. Simplify more. This is equal to minus 6 into 1 minus x. See, taking this as here. Minus 6 into 1 minus x plus 2 minus 3x upon this LCM will be multiplied in our vector. So 4 into 1 minus x. Here power is 1. Then 1 by half power. Half power will come in denominator. So 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2. So this is equal to minus 6 plus 2. That is minus 4. Then 6x minus 3x is 3x. 6x minus 3x is 3x minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 upon 4 into 1 minus x is 2 divided. This is f double dash x. Now we put this value here double dash. So at x equal to 2 by 3, f double dash of 2 by 3 equal to this 
this is f double dash of x. Now I am putting a 2 by 3. So 3 into 2 by 3 minus 4 upon 4 into 1 minus 2 by 3 is to 3 by 3. Here I am putting 2 by 3, 2 by 3. So this is, this 3 will be cancelled. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 upon 4 into 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 by 3 is 2, 3 by 2. We are not uh, simplifying this number. We are interesting only sign. Look here. F double dash is negative. F double dash is negative. Therefore, x equal to 2 by 3 is a point of local maxima. x equal to 2 by 3 is a point of local maxima. And local maximum value and at this point, local maximum value is f of 2 by 3. We keep this value f. f of 2 by 3, so put here 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 into square root of 1 minus 2 by 3. That is 2 by 3 square root of 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 by 3. So that is 2 upon 3 root 3. So this is local maximum value. Now see, uh, we are uh, solving uh, such a problem uh, using a second derivative test. But sometimes uh, when taking the second derivative, we have to face a lengthy calculation. You can see that this calculation is difficult because of this function. Function is having radical sign, so its first derivative is also having radical sign. Then this second derivative calculation becomes lengthy. So sometimes if second derivative or calculation becomes lengthy, then problem can also, can also be solved by first derivative test. So now I am showing you how to solve, how to apply first derivative test. Showing you this problem using first derivative test. How to find point of local maxima or local minima. Say so here we want to check at 2 by 3. 2 by 3 belongs to 0 to 1. So here interval is 0 to 1. Open interval 0 to 1. In this number 2 by 3 somewhere here. This is critical point. This number is critical point or critical number. Now look. Before 2 by 3, let me check. Before 2 by 3, what happens? After 2 by 3, what happens? If x belongs to 0 to 2 by 3, if x is less than 2 by 3, means if x is on left side of 2 by 3, or we can say x belongs to 0 to 2 by 3, this interval, then we want to check sine of f dash x before 2 by 3 what is sine of f dash and after 2 by 3 what is sine of f dash so we concentrate on f dash if x is in this side before 2 by 3 then x is less than 2 by 3 that means from this part we can see that 3x is less than 2. 3x is less than 2. That means 2 minus 3x is positive. That is 2 minus 3x is positive. The 
this will be positive and obviously this will be also positive because value of x is less than 1 in this figure all the value of x is less than 1 so this will be also positive and 2 into root 1 minus x is also positive. So positive upon positive, therefore positive upon positive is greater than 0. That means f less x is greater than 0. So before 2 by 3, f less is positive. Now, what happens after 2 by 3? So, if x is in this interval, if x belongs to 2 by 3 to 1, if x is in 2 by 3 to 1, then if x is here, it will be more than 2 by 3. x will be more than 2 by 3. If x is in this interval 2 by 3 to 1, then x is more than 2 by 3, and from this part we can say that 2 is less than 3x. 2 is less than 3x, so 2 minus 3x is negative, and, and 2 into root 1 minus x is obviously positive x is already less than 1. So 1 minus x is positive. So 2 into root 1 minus x will be positive. We can join your statement and x is less than 1. So 1 minus x is positive. Here also we can join statement. 3x is less than 2 and x is previously here from this side we have taken x x is less than 1 and x is less than 1 or uh, doing uh, putting these statements uh, properly let me know by this way that means x is less than 2 by 3 and if x is here x is less than 2 by 3 and x is less than 1 that means 3x is less than 2 and x is less 1 minus x is positive that means 3x 2 minus 3x is positive and its square root will be positive multiplying this number with 2 be positive. So positive upon positive is positive. And similarly here, this is negative, this is positive. So negative upon positive. Negative upon positive is negative. So f less x is less than 0. f less x is negative. Here f less x is positive. This side f plus x is negative. Here f plus x is positive. Here f plus x is negative. See what is happening here. This was 0. This was 1. Here it was 2 by 3. Here before 2 by 3 f plus x is positive. After 2 by 3 f plus x is negative. So as x increases f less change sign from positive to negative through 2 by 3. As x increases, f less change sign from positive to negative through x equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, f less x, as x increases, As x increases, f less x changes sign from positive to negative. 
equal to x equal to 2 by 3. That means here before 2 by 3 function is increasing, after 2 by 3 function is increasing. Therefore, x equal to 2 by 3 is a point of local maximum. This is a point of local maximum. And at this point, local maximum value is f of 2 by 3, putting here 2 by 3, 2 by 3 into 1 minus 2 by 3, that is 2 by 3, root 1 by 3, 2 by 3 root 3, that is 2 root 3 by 9. So this is local maximum value and this was the application of first derivative test. Prove that the following functions do not have maxima or minima. Say fx is increased to x. fx is increased to x. So fsx is also increased to x. Now to have local maxima or minima, there exists x or there exists c in its domain such that f s of c is 0. If we can find the solution of f s x equal to 0, that means if we can find critical number or critical point, then function may have a local maxima or minima. But say here, f s x is equal to x and for every x, for every x belonging to r, e is to x, e is to x is always positive, f less x is always positive, f less x equal to 0 is not possible. So here that means f less x equal to 0 we don't have, it does not exist. x such that f s x is 0 therefore there does not exist critical point there does not exist critical points so that means this function does not have maxima or minima so f does not have maxima or minimum. So here gx is yx. If we find the gx x, gx x is one of x. Now domain of log function is a set of real numbers. For every positive real for every x belonging to r plus this value is always greater than 0. So genius x is always greater than 0. So similar statements. That means there does not exist x. There does not exist x such that Julius x is 0. That means there does not exist critical points. That means function g does not have local maxima or local minima. 
See graph of log x. Graph of log x. This is x axis, this is y axis. Domain of log x is 0 to infinity. Log is defined on this positive part. Its graph will be like this. This is graph of log x. Gx equal to log x. And here you can see that as x increases, function is going up and up, up and up. On this side, going down. So no ends. So neither absolute maximum nor absolute minimum. So same statement here. Also, okay, zero to infinity. This is zero to infinity. Set of positive values. In zero to infinity, this function g is strictly increasing. Therefore, therefore, neither absolute maximum nor absolute minimum value is defined. So neither absolute maximum nor absolute Minimum value is defined. Or does not exist. Here, H S X is three x square plus two x plus one. That is, it can be expressed as two x square plus x square plus two x plus one. So this is two x square plus x plus one. Square. And you can see that this is always positive. Positive plus positive is always positive. So edge is strictly increasing. So edge is strictly increasing on its domain minus infinity to infinity. Here domain of this function is R. R means minus infinity to infinity. Therefore, therefore, neither absolute maximum nor absolute minimum is defined. 